Hello, this is Wampire. Welcome to part six. Part six means the six angles of attack form. Therefore, it's six movements put together. And uh, let's get started right away. So uh, it looks like this. It goes one, two, three, four, five, and then number six. Okay. Uh, let me go a little bit slower. So it's a downwards diagonal, okay, from the right to the left. And then I come back the way that I came. And then next from here, this is my number three. Start from the bottom to the top. And then I come back down the way that I came for my number four. That sets me up for number five, which is the stab. And then number six is the eye flick, okay? So... It looks basically like this. You go one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Um, let's break it down here. So number one is comes in from the right. I'm doing a diagonal slash. Number two, back the way that I I came. Number three is from the bottom, so it's a diagonal upward slash. Number four, I come back down the way that I came. Number five is a stab. I bring the hand back. Number six looks like another stab, but right when I hit the eye, I flick it out. So there's your eye flick. Uh, that's a very traditional move. Normally I take it out, but in this video, I'm going to show you the whole thing. So that's one through six, okay? Uh, and we talked about evolving the form, that it's important to get repetitions, but don't, don't be afraid to change up the form, make variations. So this is Another example of a variation you could do with these kinds of forms, and that is to change all the slashes into a stab. Um, Escrima people, Filipino martial arts people, oftentimes accused of only doing slashes and not doing stabs as much. It's like a slash dominant uh, martial art. And, you know, in some ways that's true, but in some ways I disagree because like when I do knife work and stuff, I'm using the point a lot. So uh, this is one, one way to uh, make sure that you add a significant amount of stabs into your arsenal. And that is, okay, the same form. It's important to know where you start and where you finish. So number one is this diagonal slash down, which I showed you guys. You start from the top right, end at the bottom left. We're going to do the exact same thing. Start at the top right, end at the bottom left, but instead of a slash, it's going to be a stab, just like that. Once again, from up here, I'm going boom into a stab, and it comes, it finishes where it's supposed to. Okay, next is the number two. Number two goes back, goes back the way it came, right? So this was... Number one was like this. Number two is back the way it came. Boom, one and two. One and two. So number two starts from the bottom left, ends on the top right. Instead of just doing a slash, I'm going to stab right here. And it ends where it's supposed to. One more time. From here, it is boom, just like that. So these are all stabs that I'm doing from different angles. Instead of just having it right here and just stab from here, Notice number one, I stab from basically here. Number two is I'm stabbing from here. From down here, boom, that's a stab right there. Number three is gonna be from over here. Now from the bottom here, this is the motion for number three, but I'm gonna change it into a stab. And there she goes. Okay, and then number four comes back down the way you came, just like this, and so that means Upper left to bottom right, and from here, it's there's my stab right here. Boom, just like that. So boom, right here, comes here, and then we go to number five, which is this normal stab, and number six, which is the eye flick. So one more time, number one comes boom, like this, number two comes right here, number three comes up here, number four comes down, and then we have our five, and then eye flick. Okay, so uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and take care, folks.